A very common question I get asked all the time is how much does YouTube pay you? And specifically, a lot of people wanna know how much does YouTube pay you for a thousand views or a million views? So there is a number that YouTube tells you, and that is exactly how much they pay you for a thousand views, and it's called RPM. There's another number called CPM, and that's how much YouTube gets paid from the advertisers for a thousand views. So two different numbers that you should pay attention to. So just to break it down, CPM is cost per milli or cost for a thousand views that YouTube charges advertisers. And then they give you typically about 55% of that. That's called a CPM. Now they recently, back in 2020, they released RPMs. That's specifically how much you get paid not how much YouTube is charging. So that's the number I'm really gonna focus on, RPM, the number you should focus on, and that is how much YouTube pays you for a thousand views. Now, across the three different monetized channels I have, I'm gonna show you three different examples to make it very, very clear that this number changes all the time depending on the type of content you make. You could get paid a dollar for a thousand views, or you could get paid closer to a hundred dollars for a thousand views, depending on the type of content that you make. So let's jump in here on the computer in my analytics of multiple channels so I could break this down a little bit further. Let's start with this example. And this one I like because it's one of the highest paid videos I have and it's brand new. So it's only made about $5 so far, but this video is paying $14 and 96 cents for a thousand views. So it doesn't have a thousand views yet even, but I wanted to show you this number, no matter how many views a video has, will show up telling you how much you'll get paid for a thousand views. The CPM number I mentioned is usually a little over double or about double that. And this is how much YouTube is charging advertiser for a thousand views. And they give you about 55% of that. Now this is a bit lower than 55%. And that's because every video view is not monetizable. Sometimes the ad may not run and number of other factors, okay? So typically it looks about half between the CPM and RPM. I typically ignore CPM because I have no control over the CPM, but RPM is the number I cared about and that's how much they pay you. Now to get to this page, all you do is go to the video analytics tab here and this is gonna give you the overview of a video that only has 382 views, but if you go to the revenue tab, as long as you are monetized, you'll see this number over here and that's how much they pay you. Now, if you're not even getting paid on YouTube and you're watching this video, basically to get to this point where YouTube does pay you for running ads on your videos, you have to get to 4,000 hours of watch time and 1,000 subscribers. And they usually grow about the same rate. So I usually don't focus on subscribers or watch time. I just make good videos for a channel to get to that point. Once you do, you could apply. And if they like everything about your channel and everything looks good, you don't have any copyright issues, and you have original content, most of the times they will monetize your channels and pay you. Let me show you some more examples because this one is very, very high. An RPM rate of 14, $15 almost is something you will almost never see. Now I've seen even higher, I've seen even RPM rates close to $100. Now, why would some RPMs be higher than other RPMs? Well, it's just based on the type of content. This is like a finance investing app so it's gonna have a higher RPM. If you make videos on gaming or entertainment, it's gonna be far lower. If you make videos on higher affiliate marketing or marketing in general, you could get over $50 and some of my RPMs are closer to that. Let's go to my filmmaking channel here and generally on this channel, I get about $5 RPM rate, right? So lower, because of the type of audience that this channel caters to, but it's still higher than the norm. So $4.46 per thousand views here. And you could see, again, this video is only made about $12 so far for a little over a thousand views. Now I'll show you this example here. It's not a finance video and it's not a filmmaking video. It's a tutorial on a app here. So that app tutorial looks like it's paying $7.52 for a thousand views. And if you come down here, there's an option that says revenue sources. Most of your revenue in the partner program is going to come from the ad revenue of a regular YouTube user. 
Well, some people have YouTube Premium. I actually have YouTube Premium myself, so I don't see ads, but I pay a $10 fee to get that. So I get a cut of that too when people with YouTube Premium that don't see the ads use it. So YouTube does share that number with you too, and that shows up over here. Another very beneficial thing that you should really pay attention to is where your audience is, because that completely changes how much YouTube pays you. Now, this is based on the type of ads they run on those countries or other advertisers are running. So for example, the highest paid videos I have are from the US audience. So people in the US are viewing it and my RPM is really high based on that. Some of my lower RPMs are based on views from India, which is a significant portion of a lot of my channels. The views are coming from India and YouTube doesn't pay as much because the advertisers running ads for that region don't spend as much as they do in some of the more English speaking countries. So I'll show you some examples here. So to do that, I'm gonna go to the revenue tab and right here, it's gonna tell you. Usually for my videos, United States is the number one source and I'm in the US, so it kind of makes sense. Everything is in English. So you could see 30% are from the US and from India, 13%. Now, every time I've compared these two, it's almost 10 to one. So my CPM rate could be closer to $10 on the US and closer to $1 in India. And then UK also is closer to US, Canada is closer to US, Indonesia is closer to India. So I've compared these and also the age group too. It just kind of changes what kind of ads you see. So half these people are under 24 and almost everybody is under 34 here. So that also is going to be what my RPM is based on because sometimes the older crowd here, if you could target this group here, 35 to 54, you typically get paid more because the advertisers may be targeting them with health insurance or life insurance and things that are just more expensive for advertisers. So based on what I showed you, you saw a $4 per 1,000 view rate, you saw a $7 per 1,000 view rate, and you saw almost a $15 per 1,000 view rate and generally, from what I've seen, is closer to $1 to $2 if you take all kinds of different channel and bundle them together. But again, if you have types of channels focused on marketing, finance, affiliates, those are much, much higher, could hit 50. And sometimes I've even seen $100 per 1,000 views here on YouTube's partner program. But hopefully this gives you some idea of why YouTube pays you different prices for different types of views and different types of content. I hope you found this useful. Make sure you subscribe to this channel every single week. I post videos covering content creation and YouTube growth and monetization, and I'm hoping to take you on the journey of monetizing your own YouTube channel or using it for your business. Thanks again, and I'll see you next time.